Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a to-do list using Angular material. So first of all, I will install, I will create a new Angular project. For that, I will open the terminal. ng new to do list would you like to add angular routing maybe yes yes let's do it i will select scss to use sas format So after this, we also have to install Angular Angular Material. So I will open the Angular Material website here. So. We will create several pages like uh, our home page would be the list of all to do lists which we have created so far. And uh, after that, we will create another page where we will be able to add uh, tasks. And that page would have inputs, button, maybe cards. So we'll see. Okay, it has been installed. So first of first of all, I will move all these files from this folder to the root directory by dragging it like this, and I can delete this folder now. All right. So let me start the Angular project and you serve. So here, this is the default code that Angular has created. Okay, first of all, I have to, okay, as you can see that Angular project has been started and working fine. Now I will install Angular material. So I will click on get started here. And I will, I, you can also install the dependencies using NPM, but uh, I would use an alternate way that is uh, using Angular CLI method. With, I think this is a better way if that works in your case. Otherwise you can use NPM. So for now I will just install this one and this command would install all of other dependencies automatically. So as you can see that we, these are our dependencies, animation, CDK and material. So all of those libraries would be downloaded automatically behind the scene because of this command. So I will create another terminal. So this was our first step to install Angular material. After this step, I will configure the animation like this. So you have to add import this module in the root module. And my root module is app module. I will go to this and just copy this code import line and import it here. All right. Now, 
now you can import your components or modules of angular material like this to use them so i will uh, import them later when i will need them but for now i have to complete the steps so we obviously need the theme as well for angular material so i will copy this theme here and it is saying that we have to add this line in the global file that is styles.css so i will open file styles.css all right so our theme has been installed next we should uh, i recommend to install the hammer js as well because this support your gestures in your mobile as well in a great way so first of all you have to run this npm command to install it okay this is asking me well as you remember i entered this command so terminal is asking me some question it is asking me that which theme should i choose so as i pasted this thing so i think we should use indigo pink i will press enter up here so here okay it is asking me to set up hammer js for gesture recognition so i think we will not need to run this command because uh, this would automatically be installed okay now it is asking me to set up browser animation for angular material so i think we also don't need to add this animation by ourselves because this would be done automatically because i have used the ng command to add this package so i will just press enter now you would see that this animation package would art would automatically be imported in this module and this This style would also be imported automatically. Mm, I think not. Maybe let me check in packing dot and go dot JSON. Okay, you can see that our pink theme is added automatically by the ng command in the Angular dot JSON. So I don't need to add it again in the style dot CSS. And let's see in that module as you can see that our browser animation is also automatically added in the app module so i think we are now ready to move to the next step so hammer is also started uh, installed and uh, i think it should be imported in the main file you can see that hammer is also imported automatically all right next step is angular material i would recommend you to add this link as well you should uh, link the, the, these icons as well because with uh, with the help of this you can easily use angular icons in your project so open your main index.html file okay it, it is also added automatically so we don't need to add it now. all right everything is set up now we can start using it let's make sure everything is still working fine Let's see the console. There is no error so far. Great. Now, first of all, I would create a home page. So, first of all, I will create a module for home page ng generate module on ng generate 